I love paintings. I, love paintings. I always found them really quite mysterious when I was younger. They had a odd mystique and almost a sort of a sinister feel for me. The idea of something that looked so beautifully colourful and real, but at the same time not real, all coming from somebody's mind. But now that I've gotten older, I really do appreciate them. In a way, they are the original art form. I always feel as though paintings have a depth that other art forms simply cannot have. And that brings me to... To Rainier Perfumes. The premise of Rainier Perfumes is truly about recognizing fragrance as an art form, which is something that I myself have been preaching on about since the beginning of this year. But here, finally, the ultimate evidence of that. Something that I have somewhat been searching for my whole fragrance journey, in a way. Rainier Rodriguez is a painter. He will paint an idea, a concept from his own mind. And he's very talented at what he does. Some of his paintings are so unusual and interesting and thought-provoking that I could just stare at them for hours on end, trying to work out what they mean. But then he takes that painting, and then with the help of a perfumier, transforms it into a fragrance. Now when I heard this, this absolutely blew my mind. I thought this is exactly what I've been looking for. This brand and me are almost synergistic with our belief system and what we want out of fragrance. So I contacted Rainier. I told him about my channel and he was very happy to send me some samples. Out of all of them, the one that really struck a chord with me was Kisses Rain. There was something so different and so unique about it that I really felt a need to explore what this fragrance was about. I then recontacted Rainier. I told him that my favourite of the samples was Kisses Rain. And a week later, unprovoked, he sent me a free bottle. So, I will openly state to you that I got Kisses Rain for free. If you're anal about the idea of somebody reviewing a fragrance for free, then the only thing I can say to you is, I would have absolutely bought this one anyway. There is something truly beyond special. But if you can't deal with that, then that's fine. It would be a shame, because I really want you to see this review. I really want you to know what I have to say about what I truly believe is one of the best and most unique fragrances I've ever smelled and the best fragrance release easily of 2017. So let's get to presentation. I really like the Kisses Rain bottle. I love the colour tones of the red, the yellow and the black with the Rainier Perfumes emblem embedded and embossed within the cap. And that's something that's actually quite modern. So you've got the old ways and the new ways. You've got an old story and a new story, which is very much, again, something that I get with the scent, especially when it comes to love and romance. All of the Renier perfumes bottles are effectively the same. Same way that the Creed bottles and the Dior Private Collection bottles are the same. But the one thing I like about Kisses Rain is that it uses the colour of red. And red has many different connotations. Lust, passion, anger, love. And all of those things do really correlate into the theme and into the story of Kisses Rain. So I think it's a fantastic choice. The way that red, gold and black are also encapsulated do truly go with the theme of what Kisses Rain is. If I was to give this a rating, I'd give it a four out of five.
Now these two are definitely related. In fact, Feb Delicious was the first thing I thought of when I first smelt Kiss's ring. However, as similar as they may seem, they are also worlds apart. The top of this fragrance has that warming and inviting almond and vanilla that initially can remind a user of Feb Delicious, but then it quickly goes colder and infinitely more complicated. The floral element of Kiss's Rain gives it a very romantic yet irreverent tone. It has a rogue element. It reminds me very much of a Casanova or Jack Sparrow type. It's infinitely charismatic, flamboyant, and unapologetic. The thing it has over Fev is that Fev wants to make you happy, give you a hug, and invite you to its home for dinner. Kisses Rain wants to steal you from your mundane life, recite you poetry, steal a ship, and go on a mad adventure to far off dangerous and beautiful lands. Its feminine floral notes of rose and heliotrope combined with its masculine warming oud and balsam, finely paired with its comforting and inviting vanilla tones, can only be described in one word. Seducing. This is a fragrance of a seducer, and someone who can be seduced. Not just by women or men or whatever, no. Seduced by life, by travel, by experience. And it embraces all of life's elements. It has warmth, it has cold. It has a depth, it has a lightness. It's absolutely stunning. And I've never come across anything like it. Or if I have, certainly never to this level. I'm blown away and humbled by it. Because of this, I'm giving the scent of Kisses Rain a 6 out of 5. Projection is my only criticism of this whole fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance, and it does last. It's not really a problem with longevity, but a problem with its projection. You see, in weather such as this, when it's icy cold, this fragrance doesn't have much of an oomph. The first two and a half hours, you do get a relatively solid scent cloud, but after that, it really reels itself in, basically to a skin scent, and that's very disappointing because I'm quite greedy with this fragrance. I want to wear it all year round. I most certainly want to wear it in the winter. And the bigger issue with this fragrance is that because of its power and its bombasticness, the problem is, is that it's actually too powerful for me to wear it in summer, and it's actually quite cloying but it's too weak for me to wear confidently in the winter. And that really is quite an issue. It's straight down the middle of its projection. Because of that, I will give it a three out of five. If you're not worried about reapplying, if you're fine with reapplying in colder climates, then this is not going to be an issue for you. Just reapply. But on an objective standpoint, projection for me is a solid straight down the middle, three out of five. Longevity isn't really much of an issue for me. I get a solid 12 hours every single time, but like I said with projection, this type of weather, the first two and a half hours are pretty decent, but then after that it's basically a skin scent, which is a shame. However, in the spring and the autumn times, you're always going to get that really solid 12 hours, sometimes maybe a little bit less, but definitely a very consistent batting average. So I'd give the longevity all in all, with that considered, a 4 out of 5. Very strong, not beastly, but definitely ranging on that 12 hour mark. Why do I love this so much though? Why have I become near obsessed with it? Well it could be because this reminds me of falling in love. The comfort and warmth of the familiar vanilla and almond tones, paradoxically linked with a bitter, coffee biting smell which gives it a sort of a, a coldness, like a shiver down your spine, like butterflies in your stomach, like you're actually falling for someone. There are so many fragrances that are released nowadays that are so sugary and hyperactive, and they're very two-dimensional, and then render the user two-dimensional. But this fragrance is so full-bodied that it gives the full experience of romance and falling in love. Either way, Kisses Rain to me is far more than just a fragrance. It's an experience. It's a testament to the ideals of beauty and a tribute to the universal story of falling 
in love. I hope you've enjoyed this trip with me, and I hope you seek this fragrance out, as it's one of the best out there. I'm going away for a little while. I don't know when I'll see you next, but I look forward to it. Until then, I'm the Fragrance Surprise, and goodbye.